By the way, guys, I thought of another reason why it's a good thing I'm not using a publicly available 3D engine, which is those engines could be no longer in existence in 50 years when my game comes out. So I could be stuck, not able to move forward. Um, the engines might have compatibility issues that can't be tweaked, unless if you figure out how to rewrite the entire rendering pipeline anyways, which is what I'm planning to do from the beginning, so I don't have to rewrite their engine if they no longer are compatible years and years and years down the road. To rewrite somebody else's engine is a lot harder than to tweak your own engine that you wrote and you understand. So I'm saving myself time in the long run. Um, and I'd probably have to reprogram my whole game if I use somebody else's engine and they keep on updating and changing their engine over the years. I'd have to keep remaking the game to fix it and adjust it to the newer releases of the engine. That's assuming the engine continues to be supported 50 years from now. A lot of those engine projects will be completely dropped, I'm sure, over that period of time. They just won't last. And so they'll no longer have developer support and they'll, they'll no longer work. They'll be broken by incompatibilities down the road. And so it's just not a good idea to use an engine if your game's going to take, you know, decades and decades, you're going to need a custom engine that you can adapt to the new technology and the new hardware and software of that time. You know, Windows 20. Who knows, maybe even Windows will no longer be an actively used operating system. Maybe Bill Gates' death will mean the end of Microsoft and people will switch to a totally new operating system we haven't heard of yet. Maybe Microsoft Windows will be dead. So I'll need the flexibility to adapt to anything which I'll be able to do if I create my own engine. I'll have the knowledge and skills at a low level to fix any compatibility issues that could ever come up without any problem really at all. Because I'll be an expert on the, the topic through experience. You can't be more of an expert on 3D game engines than building your own. That makes you an expert. Especially building it alone. It's even more impressive than building it with a team of other expert programmers. So you're going to have an even more intricate knowledge because you did everything yourself from scratch. You'll be like an authority on game engine development. And I, I imagine there's not even that many 3D engine developers out there in particular because so many developers now just use off-the-shelf engines there would be nobody to turn to for help because there's just very few people in the world who even know how to do it because so few even bother so few game companies require it 